Today, we're gonna find out how easy it is to take this complete hot end assembly and swap it in to my bamboo lab printers. My name's Jim, and this is the Edge of Tech. So if you have a bamboo lab printer, eventually you're gonna wanna swap out the hot end. On the X1 or the P1P, you may even just wanna do this to add the hardened nozzle. And if you get the complete hot end like you see here, it is so easy, I'm talking five minutes or less. The complete hot end actually comes with the fan, thermistor, and ceramic pad already on it, so it's ready to go. The cool thing is, this process is virtually the same across the X1 and X1 Carbon series and the P1P, and I'm gonna show you how to swap it. Let's do it. Before we get started, you wanna make sure you unload any filament that's in your machine. Also, shut your machine off and unplug it. It's also very important that you make sure your hot end is under 30 C, so don't do this if you just got done printing. Let it cool down for a little bit. We start by removing the magnetic cover from the front of the hot end. Unplug the cables that are in the board and pulling them out of the guide. If you're doing this on an X1 or X1 Carbon, there will be three of these. If you're doing it on the P1P, there's only two and the connectors are just a little bit different. Now we need to take out the two screws that are holding the hot end in. Those are these two screws here and just unscrew them and pull them out. Once they're out, gently pull down and remove the hot end from the extruder. Now all you have to do is take the new hot end, gently push it back up into the extruder and put those two screws back in place. Plug the wires back into the board and then make sure they're secure behind that little cable guide tab here. That can be a little bit tricky, but just make sure they're secure because you don't want them loose. Now put the magnetic cover back on the hot end and we are close to being done. The last thing we need to do on each of these machines is run a self-test or a calibration. On the X1 or X1 Carbon, click the bottom left button on your screen and choose the device self-test button in the top right. Run that, and if everything comes back good, you're good to go. If you're on the P1P, it's a little bit different. We're gonna use the control pad and go down to the little gear. Once you're on that gear, you wanna go down to where it says calibration and run the calibration. If that all comes back good, you're good to go as well. Now this whole process, excluding the calibration or self-test, takes five minutes or less. I really think that's the easiest way to swap out these hot ends on the Bamboo Lab machines. Just get yourself a couple complete hot ends and swap them out when you need to. You can even drop different nozzle sizes on those and use different nozzle sizes in minutes on these machines. I like to actually keep a couple different complete hot ends around with a different nozzle size, and that way when I'm ready to go, I just pop the old one out, pop the new one in, and that's it. Literally less than five minutes, and then run that self-test. Also, this can be used as backups. If you get a couple complete hot ends, if you ever have one go down, all you have to do is take the old nozzle out, push the new one in, like we just saw, and then you're back in business. You can fix the bad one while your printer's printing away. The coolest thing about these is they only cost $34.99, for the complete hot end like this. That's the fan, the thermistor, the ceramic heat pad, and the sock, and you're done for $34.99. And it's a very good idea to keep an extra one around. This goes for the X1 and X1 Carbon and the P1P. So let me know in the comments how you would do this. Would you keep a couple different size nozzles with the complete hot end? Would you rather not keep a complete hot end, just keep maybe nozzles around or something else? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear what you have to say. Real quick, if you got value from today's video, please smash that like button. And if you haven't yet, please consider subscribing to the channel. I'm on a goal to hit 100,000 subscribers this year. I need your help and I can't thank you enough for joining my channel as a subscriber. If you wanna see more 3D printing, CNC, and laser videos, this is the place for you. Also, if you haven't done maintenance on your Bamboo Lab printers, you probably should check out this video right here.